Hey ladies, um, it's Jen. Um, I was talking earlier about um, doing a little, I guess, adjustment uh, project. So I come up with this. Everyone has these spice jars. Well, not probably everyone, but I guess most. Uh, they come in a um, a metal uh, finish with a wooden wheel, you know, and they turn around, you know, to get so you can get your spice out. So I done packaged one of my mica powders inside of one of the jars, and it fit perfectly. So um, I'm going to do one. For the camera so I guess is this this is my first I guess DIY <laughs> but which I'm pretty sure y'all probably came up with this already um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoot this back okay I'm gonna take my little scissors <laughs> anyway I know I'm a goofball and I'm going to take my pigment bag I am going to cut the corner of the pigment bag. Ah, come on. And I'm going to get rid of this little piece of corner. Um, <laughs> and now I'm going to try and get all of my pigment inside of this bag, inside of this, from this bag to the bottle. Excuse me. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, without, you know, less mess and not, not lose, hard, trying to lose any of my pigment, to be honest. And sorry for my hand to be in the thing. I think I could have the hole a little bit too big. So, um, yeah. Okay. And as you can see, it's going inside, so I'm just gonna, gonna tip this back over. Now I probably might lose a couple little things. And I'm gonna try and tap some of this pigment down. I want to kind of close this off um, so that way it's just a little bit more um, I'm able to handle it a little bit more without losing any more pigment because uh, yeah, I don't like losing any of my pigments um, and to me that um, <laughs> I felt like I was losing a little bit too much um, so yeah, I lost a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm going to try and get this part of the pigment inside of the jar. Yes, and I lost some, which I'm not very happy about. Um, so I'm just gonna try and wipe my hands off first. They make these bags so slippery. Um, if I always, any of y'all, and y'all were worried about really, you know, being able to get all the pigment out of the bag, um, I would definitely um, 
have a wet bowl right near you so that way you can wet your fingertips and just kind of you know uh, get the loose pigment up there and there's a little bit okay let me cap this off real quick and as you can see okay some it's just stained up um, but as you can see some of the pigment is up here inside of the the zipper area so I'm just gonna try and tap that to one side and try and get it down yeah I'm not doing a good job with uh, trying to get this down come on now I mean yeah you're gonna still have a you know a nice little tint to the bag but uh, you'll have most of your pigment out um, I mean I suggest if you um, do have like the dry bag um, try and um, have a, a dish to where you can um, uh, wet your fingertips um, so that way just in case you feel like you're losing any more pigment or any pigment you can wet your fingertips and just keep working the bag um, sorry didn't I was concentrating <laughs> on the you know getting it out of the bag anyway so um, my bag is basically emptied it's just tinted uh, the green tint so um, yeah so that's my empty bag and this is just the amount of pigment that I lost I mean it's not really um, a great deal um, I'm gonna wipe, wipe the drawer off so that way um, I can get this capped off and you can print out your what's good about it is that you can print out your own labels um, as I have done um, I'm gonna cap it off sorry uh, yeah I'm gonna wipe off the jar my hands will probably be all kinda crazy colors today so as you see um, Sorry, <laughs> as you see, um, my this pigment is just if you can see, it's about right to here. Now, these are both supposed to be one ounce um, pigments, this one is filled to the brim. Okay, let me show you. Now, they're a little, let's say, about two or three grams off. Um, but, yeah, this is how I'm going to store my pigments. Um, I mean, I, I can get more of the pigment colors, so it, it, when I run out, I'm not going to have to sit there and um, change the bottles or anything like that. And I do plan on probably finding some more of these jars because I really like these jars. And they are handy to hold pigments in. And as I said, you can print out your own labels. Um, as I did here 
Um, so yeah, that is my how to use a, I guess, an existing product for a different uh, hobby, I guess you would say. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, hope I gave you some kind of idea or not. <laughs> um, stay well, be blessed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.